Hello, I'm Don Ching and welcome to the first edition of The Signet Way, a show uh, about classic and artisanal menswear as well as the brands that define and shape it. Uh, with me today are Signet partners Eddie Lim and Jason Kwa. Hi, Don. Hello. Hi, uh, as you can Hello. guess today by with the stuff scattered about on the table, the first edition will be tackling the real McCoys. Now, the real McCoys, I believe, we've carried since 2018? Yes, yeah. uh, we started carrying in 2018, but actually we first encountered the brand in um, 2015 at the CC show in uh, Yokohama. 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 Yeah, Yokohama. So we, we actually went to the CC show to check, out, um, to check out the new brands that we wanted to bring into the store. And uh, we saw the real McCoys booth, which is huge, huge. Uh, at the time, uh, we were we we were interested in the brand, but we weren't sure if um, we the store could could sell the product honestly because of the price point. Um, but uh, as we grew the store uh, in 2018, I think we, we we were able to bring in the first batch of uh, clothes from the McCoys. I think uh, in terms of the roots of the brand, I think. Eddie yeah. would know the best out yeah. about the how how the, how so the McCoy started. Yeah. Uh, from from his uh, stories, uh, we had a brief meeting, a couple of hours meeting when I went to his when I did a courtesy call in his office. Mm. Maybe, I think it was late 2017. Yeah, so Kobe. Kobe, Kobe in your headquarters in Kobe. Uh, he said that uh, they started. He started as a vintage dealer. Okay. Uh, he bought a lot of stuff from the U.S. and bring it back to Japan to sell. Before vintage Levi's were like fifteen dollars, mm. twenty dollars, uh, and then he would buy a lot of uh, vintage stuff, you know, like from, from clothes to to housewares to, to toys to everything. So he eventually opened up his uh, vintage store in also in Kobe. Uh, called nylon. Uh, so he started selling his vintage, what he bought from the U.S. Um, eventually, uh, things uh, the vintage market uh, start started to evolve into like uh, uh, they need stuff. They need clothing that would look like vintage, but they want to start it from scratch, mm, right. meaning they wanted uh, a brand new version of of Old the bit, the, uh, of, the, yeah. uh, of the pieces they, they 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 bought. So they eventually he, he they started the company with a couple of uh, friends of similar uh, interest. Uh, eventually, at yeah, the real McCoy started in in the nineties actually. Mm. Yeah. With, with different partners. At that time, around the 90s, there are lots of, like, would you say, uh, is the real Mokais and Osaka based brand? Uh, they mainly are uh, Kansai, yeah. Uh, so uh, a lot Kansai. of Osaka people tend to um, be these type of people, like they love vintage clothing, they tend to be fans of vintage clothing and would eventually start their own brand, like uh, Program, right? Like, right, right, around the same time. But how would you say that the uh, the real McCoy is Sujimoto san like sort of differentiates your production. Uh the real McCoy's with their with their archive mm. from the seventies mm. and the whole the eighties. Uh, they they basically have the exact the original clothing of mm. what they're trying to replicate. Mm. Um, I'm not saying that the other brands no, no, no. But the but what's I Jason been to the yeah. been to the headquarters. So, so yeah, so, yeah. so um, we we bought some of the the team members to the uh, Kobe office before. Mm. So it's basically a big warehouse mm. where all Tsujimoto Sons collection is housed. So when you go in, there's like vintage toys, all unopened boxes, uh, vintage Levi's, Lee. Uh, even LD bags. Uh, and there's even like a, a new old stock um, Porsche in the 60s, I think 60s or 70s. 70s. Yeah. So I mean, where where do you see that these days, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so 
true to their name, the real McCoys, the, the, the products they sell is basically um, a true replica of the original vintage piece. So what this means is it's a totally new product, but they try to copy all the details of the original vintage mm. product as close as possible. Mm. So even it, if it means like, um, so typically small accessories like zippers or buttons, uh, they need it to be exactly, uh, or at least looks exactly the same as, the original. as the original one. So if they have to order 10,000 buttons, because sometimes these come, uh, manufacturers have a minimum if they, you, you want to order a specific button for yourself, right? So if they have to order 10,000 buttons just to use it for, uh, just to use two, two 300 of, out of those 10,000, they'll, they'll do it. So they, they'll have a lot of stock of, um, even as threads, right? Even threads. Yeah, even threads. So um, in that sense, uh, when they say down to the last detail, mm -hmm. they really mean to down yeah. to the last detail. It's often that a lot of brands say that they're they're very detail oriented, but they haven't really seen the Mahoney. Yeah, they, they they sort of take it to the next yeah. level. Yeah. So wait, they the brands of their products. I'm I work for Signet. I'm aware, but uh, for our viewers out there who are not aware, what is the brands of their selection from vintage workwear to military? Yeah, um, so so they have uh, a couple of brands that they house it in. Um, the, 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 the one uh, the, the one they, that they really pushed initially was military, mm. Mm. Right. which is under the real McCoys. Mm. And yeah. then what about Joe McCoys? Joe McCoys is Joe McCoy. Joe McCoy actually is a is a is a brand from Illinois that they had that that they had some of the items from the archive from from buying vintage from before so they they tried to they how do you call it they relieved you know the the brand and then joe mccoy is more of their flexible sub brand for for the company mm -hmm. they 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 do leather jacket from the 30s they do they yep. do denims. Yeah. Uh, they do. Yeah, they they able to do jackets yeah. like they, these. Like this is like a, a rayon print from the fifties, right? Yeah. And I believe the Sukachon Sukachon is under real Macau. Yeah. yeah. So they're able to do like more. Um, I, I guess casual wear. Yeah, faded. Yeah. So this is like a faded. Faded type then, two type denim jacket. jacket. Is there a particular detail to Mahoy's denim that's unique to them? Or actually, I heard something about the development of uh, the 001 XX denim. Is there something we can discuss? Oh, the, zero, the one you're wearing? Yes, the one I'm wearing. Yes. Uh, it used to be a 001, mm. uh, but they, they change, they change. As you know, they keep developing their mm. products. Mm. They keep improving the fabric, improving mm. everything, the fit, the mm. cut. And this is a faded uh, yeah. really. This is a uh, pre-faded. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is a, actually a copy of uh, a Levi's from the 50s, a 506 mm -hmm. double X. They had to copy. They had an archive that Judy Motosan you know, loved. Mm -hmm. So they had to. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is laser uh, faded, mm -hmm. okay. meaning they had to copy a real. Yeah. Yeah. Faded 506 to, to one of their reproductions. Yeah. yeah, but if you put this to an X, like uh, your usual pre faded pair of uh, pre faded denim jacket, I mean, the aging is different. It's more believable, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I think it's even got those dirt, yeah. dirt marks. Yeah, this numbers. is pretty cool. Like, if you think about this laser faded mm -hmm. with those marks, we are creasing, creasing, and mm, the, even, even the yeah, yeah, thunder even, marks. Yeah. This is usually achieved by dry. Are they called the dry. thunder marks, this area? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like yeah. that. Like. Yeah, you, you'd think this is really naturally worn. Yeah. 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 Even, even, even this. Can you even show the back? 
even the color, even it's color. it's so it's yeah, typically when you use it, you don't really get the fade yeah, much. Or even the, when you wash your yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So even mm -hmm. this this from folding it. Right? This part is yeah usually fades from yeah, the, the, the frame from, from your nape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. One thing that McCoy's is also known for is it's it's, it's, it's uh, A2 jackets. Oh, yeah. The one behind it. So, uh, uh, from what I, I remember uh, when we visited the, the office, uh, a lot of the people who work on, on the, the the A2, there's actually like eight people, seven people who work on uh, yeah. Just all, eight all, people. Yeah, just eight people for all the jackets. And most of the, the people who, who work on the jackets were originally uh, fans fans of the brand or they worked in the stores before yeah. and then they moved into the into the production, yeah, production. right yeah. so um, i mean what what makes their a2 or their leather jacket stand out there? again uh it's it's the archive that Tsujimoto has on us. they 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 copied they even they even had their own leather Especially copied by Shinki Ikaku from Himeji to copy the exact, not not of course not exact, but at least the dyeing method, the the thickness, how it will age, uh, even the color. Mm. Yeah. Also the knits. The knits are made by a small factory in somewhere in Okayama. Especially even the dyeing of the knits. They had to they had to copy. Not only the color, but how it will fade into. Because mm -hmm. it's easy to copy the color of the of yeah. any fabric, but if it this, if this if the reproduction nets uh, fades into a different color, it, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. So 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 basically, um, they not only copy all the details, but even how. The, how the product, how the jacket will age. age. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty. Cool. They had to reverse engineer everything yeah. because what they have in their archives are all used. Yeah. And they have some dead stuff, but most of them are used. Mm -hmm. uh, even the lining. Would you say this is truly vintage uh, inspired? Because it's or the seal brown. It's got sort of this reddish uh, base coat to it. Is that also copied from a an actual yeah. vintage? Yeah. Uh, this, this specific jacket right here we have right now is is the how do you call it? It's real McCoy's uh, version, mm. their version of a perfect A2 for them. Mm. The mm. cut is uh, is 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 uh, altered, mm. but they have they do have they do have some rough wear contracts. Which is one of the biggest contracts from World War II, from the U.S. Army Air Force before. So, so the rough wear contracts, those are um, those are cut exactly the same, yeah, as, the same the, as, as the original yeah. leather jackets. Okay, and so and this one is pigment dyed, right? Because yes. What so, they typically do is uh, aniline dyed. Yes. Uh, so what, what's what's the main difference? Uh pigment dyed is uh, more structural, meaning. Uh, it's more solid, the uniform. The, the, yeah, so, the uniform. Okay, yeah. It's uh, it's more how do you call it? Uh, yeah, they because the U.S. Army Air Force before had to have specific uh, specific uh, specifications for right. their jacket. They mm -hmm. had the color has to be the same. You know, it has to be even. Mm -hmm. uh, they even have they also have those aniline dyes, dyed jackets, A 2s or even other model jackets that. Uh, they did they, they, they did that because some of the some of the uh, so the army uh, uh, soldiers who were wearing these are the pilots who were wearing these um, they had to retie some of their faded jackets right 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 to, to well you know, yeah, to, they, to extend the life uh, yeah. you know, to, to extend the life and to make it look nice so they they use aniline dye so mm. they had to, you know Mm -hmm. So that's why that's and, why they use aniline dye for some. So. And then sometimes they had to recycle the jackets. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, they had to issue jack old from their from the warehouse from the stocks. Mm -hmm. And then some would would be you know old and they would you know mm -hmm. they, they had to redye so they had to. 
In this leather, it's uh, horse hide? Yeah, it's horse hide. Horse hide. From Shinki Hikaku. Mm. Uh, Is it true that they use genuine genuine working horses for the Yes, they use they use hides from Poland. Mm. Uh wild horses, uh, working horses. Mm. Not uh well typically horse hides are are they they can't kill a horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so for, for that's a yeah. die of natural causes. Yeah, 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 yeah that's a die of natural causes. causes, which makes it harder now mm. because there's not a lot of people who have horses. Mm -hmm. so yeah, like before, where uh, horses were a common thing. Yeah. In, in. There, there are, there are a lot of countries that still use horses. Mm -hmm. Uh, China, for instance, one one country that uses still uses horse hides for their jackets mm. in China until now. So they had their they have their own. But but the problem with with horses from from China or they, they had uh, the ones from Poland are thicker because mm. it's colder. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and, and it explains the, the the natural sort of greening, right? Are these whip marks or wrinkles uh, from the horse? Yeah, they usually are wrinkles. They usually are wrinkles. So maybe this is used from front quarter, mm -hmm. from from the chest uh, of the horse and belly. The one that I think they use from the spine or, or the back. They don't usually use much of the back from the back of the horse. Mm -hmm. yeah. These are usually front quarter, mm -hmm. like from the front. Because it's uh it's thinner yeah. and it they use other part for the for the for the for, for the back, back quarters. For, yeah. for, for I, the I, back I think I read somewhere where they use um, the toughest part of the horse for the elbows. Uh they they would cut they would cut the this these these are they would cut they would cut the hide and yeah. they, uh, they would choose the hide that's 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 more how you has a tighter grain okay, for yeah. this part. For, for, for specific, yeah, areas. For specific areas. Also the the collar. Yeah. So but for the body they would typically use the front quarter. Front quarter. Yeah. Front, yeah. So they would use the other parts of the horse hide for boots, mm. for belts, mm. and then for other stuff. Mm. For thicker jackets. They use the same leather for their uh, buko line. Yeah, their buko the line. J100. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It seems for a lot of people, uh, the real Makais is sort of synonymous with quality uh, horse hide based leather goods. Yeah. Okay. That, that, uh, I think that's one of their main the highlights. Yeah. And um, actually, to segue here into the boots, a lot of people consider Makois boots to be the best. Is there any particular? Quality or Again, it's it's the same as their clothing. They mm. would try to replicate as much as they can mm. from their young. Mm. Their young. Um, <coughs> can we talk a bit about their denim? Like, so they have different lines, right? Okay. So uh, let's talk about how the denim jeans. From yeah. Joe McCoy, the difference between Joe McCoy and real McCoy denim. Uh, Joe McCoy uses loom state denim, meaning they would they would shrink more. Than compared, the, to compared to these, uh, but the most of the uh, most of the real real McCoy cuts are based on actual. Uh, I don't know if I can say it, uh, Levi's cuts from <laughs> <laughs> the World War era and then for the fifties. Mm -hmm. But the uh, Joe McCoy is vintage inspired, meaning they altered the cuts uh, to fit. Yeah, so it's a, it's a more modern modern take modern on thing. a let's say a modern day. The modern take on a 50s cut, yeah. modern take on a 40s cut. So similar to, to the, the clothes, um, so Joe McCoy is basically is a more modern casual take to um, compared to the real McCoy line, which is like truly vintage. Vintage, vintage yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And then we'll, we'll run through to some of the stuff we just got mm -hmm. recently. Um, I'll start from yeah. here. We have some souvenir t shirts. Uh, oh, this is ABG. Some of the T-shirts are like this one. Mm. It's based off the U.S. Army Airborne, mm. uh, and then they use a loop wheel T-shirt on this, uh, specially woven for them. 
in Mokayama, Japan. So, what is loop wheel, by the way? Just for the people. A loop wheel is a, a form of uh, weaving uh, uh, t-shirt fabrics mm -hmm. or or sweatshirt sweat sweat fabrics uh, with maybe like a, a meter an hour. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's uh, slow, 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 but it's really nice. And it low has tension. Really low tension. You can re really nice hand Compared feel. Compared to your usual t-shirts. Yeah. The inside looks like looks a bit rough, but that roughness like adds. It, it okay. feels like cotton yeah. balls inside your. Yeah. You wear it too. When you wear it. Actually, even talking about their regular t-shirts, it's tube still knitted. tube knitted. So, tube knitted meaning there are no side seams. And it's got that reinforced neckline, mm -hmm. you know, so it won't fall apart. Its tendency is when you wash t-shirts, I mean, the, the color yeah. tends to yeah. get really flimsy and you'll have to throw it out and get a new one. Makoi is unheard of. The neckline rarely falls apart. Okay, so what else we, we have some buko, ring, ringer tea, yeah. really Almost popular like during a, the 50s. Motorcycling brand. Mm. One of their sub-brands. Sub -brands. Uh, and then we have some merch, like logo tees, logo, logo cap. tees and logo caps. Of course, the reproduction uh, chambray shirt, U.S. Navy, yeah. even the tags are mm. like what, yeah, same as what I'm wearing. Mm. I've been wearing this for the past three years. Yeah. I've, had, I've had this for about two years, I think. No, this is a, this one. Yeah. We bought it 2015. No, this is the the newer one. Ah, the newer yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, the older one is. This is my boy, is it? Yeah, this one. And of course, their famous yeah, uh, um, I think best best bang for a buck. Yeah, for uh, for any T-shirt. Uh, we all, we also got this get really stone. Mm. Yeah. Paul Newman this is, uh, Yeah, it's worn by Paul Newman. It's made of this heavy jersey. Yeah, okay, really nice. Actually, uh, yes. I'd like to talk about these as well. Okay. Yeah, this is made from, I believe, uh, some excess fabric from their factories. Yeah. Yeah. If you're interested, uh, off white, off white, and an army uh, olive. What else? We got these uh, western shirts also in in a light chambray, so it's not it's perfect for Manila weather, Philippine weather. And then, what then else? we have some buko long sleeve tees that they based off Harley. Yeah, from the seventies, eighties, early Davidson tees. The show, show that we just show them the press. Right. Sick. Like when you go to Sturgis, no, it's like a big the, mecca for Harley riders. Harley riders. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it was based on that. Besides some of the items, everything. Uh, yeah, we we have this. Um, Suka John souvenir jacket. Um, so yeah. So we actually had to buy this for the store because mm. it's Philippine version. Mm. It's a Philippine and this is rayon. Yeah, it's rayon. It's actually reversible, so mm -hmm. uh, you can wear it both two ways. Uh, small. You see, it's neck rows. Yeah. yeah. They couldn't like. say the. Yeah, but I mean, for us, for us, it's 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 one of the provinces. But mm. for them, maybe for the yeah, the they might not be so comfortable with the word. <laughs> what else? Uh, we also have this fly, um, flying tigers jacket. This is famous, also famously worn by JFK okay. when he was assigned to the on the Pacific Theater of mm. World War II. Yeah, when he was like. Uh, under the US name. And this one uh, was worn by Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson, right? Before. He would wear this. The original one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe even the lining here, yeah. they replicated that particular shade of pink. Yeah, they dyed it just to cut. They dyed, they had to dye it just to get the vintage looking mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. I think that about some setup. I mean, if you're interested. I'd like to thank Eddie and Jason for sharing. And if you're interested, um, you can find all of our Makoy stuff at Power Plant Mall. And you can visit us at thesignetstore.com. Thank you. Thank you.
<laughs> okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs>